Hi guys, David Fine here from Keys Maws. Uh, this is a Wacky Worms video and we've got a wacky bird poop butterfly caterpillar coming your way. That's right, it's the giant swallowtail. Uh, great bug, one of our largest and most showy butterflies down here in South Florida. We're gonna teach you all about the giant swallowtail here in a second. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like the video, share us with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell for notifications. When you do, you'll get notified every time we put out a new video like this. Tons of bugs. We're gonna teach you all about the giant swallowtail. Check this out, guys. The giant swallowtail is one of the largest and most showy butterflies down here in South Florida. It's got a wingspan of five to seven inches. Uh, dorsal side is a dark brown coloration with uh, a row of orangey yellow spots that go down uh, the middle of the forewing and on the outer edge of the forewing and down into the hindwing as well. Big, long, clubbed, showy tails and a teardrop shaped uh, yellowish orange spot inside the middle of those tails. Great butterfly, uh, ventrally, uh, it's more of a yellow coloration and they've got uh, down, down on the hind wing a band of black, blue, and red scaling. Beautiful butterfly. It's a garden butterfly, very easy to garden for. Love having this butterfly in our backyard down here in South Florida. Sexes are similar, but females are a little bit larger than the males and actually their yellowish orange spots are a little bit more roundish. Uh, very subtle differences, but you can tell them apart. There are two other species of butterflies that you could confuse with the giant swallowtail in South Florida. Uh, giant swallowtail's range goes all the way up through, all the way north to Canada, uh, and all the way down south through Central and South America and through the Caribbean. There are two species in South Florida that are similar in appearance, but they're very, very rarely ever seen. Papilio aristodemus poncianus, the shell swallowtail, it's an endangered species looks similar feeds on similar plants as the giant swallowtail but their range is so limited it's only in north key largo in the very very southern tip of dade county in in protected habitats uh, they live down the hammocks and they're a little bit smaller than the giant swallowtail and they don't have those clubbed tails and here's a couple pictures so that you can see uh the shouse swallowtail we'll hopefully get a video of that guy coming soon the other one is the bahama swallowtail Papilio andraman, uh, very rarely seen in South Florida. I've seen one in 40 years of living down here. They are actually considered a stray. They come in and out from the Caribbean, from the Bahamas, and they'll establish temporarily here, mostly down in Key Largo, and they'll live in the hammocks down there alongside the shallow swallowtail, but very rarely ever seen. Um, probably not going to encounter that butterfly unless you're in uh, one of the wildlife refuges in the Florida Keys. Throughout the United States, the giant swallowtail has a wide variety of different habitats, but down here in South Florida, they are very accustomed to being a backyard bug. You know, every, a lot of people have citrus, ornamental citrus trees planted in their backyard, and once those citrus trees push out new growth, you're gonna have giant swallowtails uh, come and lay eggs on those, and you're gonna have the little caterpillars, uh, little bird poop caterpillars hatching out and eating the new growth of those. They'll eat citrus plants, and but their native host plant down here in South Florida is Xanthoxylum fagra. It's the wild lime. It's as similar, it's a rutacea plant, but it's actually not a lime. Uh, they are wicked thorny plants and you will get raked by them. Uh, you try and have them in your yard. Uh, you're gonna have scars to prove it. Uh, they also will eat torchwood down in, in Key Largo. That's probably, these are their native host plants down here in the Florida Keys. Eggs are round and brownish rust color. They're laid on the very new growth of, the, of these leaves. Caterpillars hatch out, and when they hatch out, when they're tiny, tiny, they look like lizard poop, and when they grow a little bit bigger, they look like bird poop. Uh, the full-grown caterpillar is actually quite large, and they get a little bit bigger than the poop mimicry thing will allow, so they actually start to look a little bit more like a snake. Uh, when you see them and when they're disturbed 
whoa, well, watch out because they have some wicked osmaterium, these uh, fleshy appendages that are up near the upper thoracic area near the head and they're bright red forked osmaterium that when they're disturbed, they will stick those that forked osmaterium out and that thing is coated with chemicals that they've taken from their host plant and it smells terrible, okay? <laughs> terrible smelling osmaterium. When you get it on your skin, uh, your, your fingers will smell uh, like, well, they smell like osmaterium. They'll smell like that for quite a while till you wash, uh, very, wash your hands. When the larva is ready to make its chrysalis, it'll crawl down onto a twig or a branch of the, a citrus tree. The chrysalis are very deeply camouflaged and they look like the bark of a tree. You, uh, they're very well camouflaged chrysalis. Uh, they'll sit in the chrysalis for two to three weeks, sometimes months. Uh, it all depends on the uh, precipitation and when the humidity is right and when the, the plants are pushing out their new growth, this when these chrysalis will emerge. The giant swallowtail is definitely a backyard bug in South Florida. Plant some citrus trees. If you're, if you're up for it, plant a wild lime. Uh, you're gonna have giant swallowtails floating through your backyard. A uh, great bug to have down here. They, vi they visit a wide variety of different nectar sources. Uh, they like bidens. Um, I love firebush because it's a pretty plant and it's uh, a great nectar source for a wide variety of different Florida butterflies and they love it. They love firebush, so that's a good one to plant. But guys, that's about all the time we have for today. Hope you liked the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, like the video, don't forget to subscribe. We've got a great website. It's www.keysmoths.com. If you go visit that website, you will find 100 species of butterflies that live in the Florida Keys, as well as 593 species of moths. Everything is photographically documented uh, for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> Check us out there. Uh, subscribe to the channel and hope to see you out in the field sometime. Until then, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Take care.